Okay, we've just uh, had a call from one of our anti-poaching uh, mobile units. They've identified a wild dog that's carrying a snare around its neck. And so we're gonna join the wild dog research team that operates here in Southie Valley and see how we can assist them. So if we find that the pack comes back with a whole lot of snares, you know, a couple of dogs missing, maybe a couple of injuries from snares or wires around their neck, we can use the information from these collars to go and either give these guys a heads up or go ourselves and have a look at the area because it's very obvious when a, when a pack member is caught in a snare, they stay there, they, they stick around. So we can use this collar information to help locate snare lines. Basically, the, the pack won't go too far, they'll stay nearby. Um, and then this dog will hopefully wake up and go and start looking for them. Um, and if they're a bit further off, they'll start calling. Um, and then they'll just reunite. The rest of the pack will come back and, and look for him. Um, you, you know, often when we've done collarings, the pack will sometimes circle nearby, so they'll never, they'll never go far off and they'll come back and collect him. Yeah. yeah, the only concern with them not meeting up with their pack is if they, um, if, you, if you end up darting very late and the rest of the pack go off hunting. And we had an incident once with a snare removal, which was a desperate situation. It was a horrible, horrible snare with the wire tight around the neck, but also through the jaw. So its head was pinned, like it was, um, it couldn't do anything at all. It was horrific. And we ended up darting that dog quite late. And she was without her pack for three days. Um, but then eventually they met up. So the pack will never abandon a member. They'll keep coming back. They'll always, always try and find them. So we had a very nervous three days, but in the end, uh, the dogs were reunited. And it actually made by week. Point seven five for the top. 